entire community of O'Neill, Mayor Bill Price, who could not be here tonight, would like to extend congratulations to the OHS coaches and wrestlers for their outstanding performance this weekend in Omaha. Ladies and gentlemen, your C2 District Coach of the Year and the 2015 Class C State Championship Coach, Mr. Brian Corkle. This is incredible. I mean, I don't know how many of you guys know it, but they, they met us at Ewing, too. We had the Ewing Fire Department folks on the street in Ewing. That was I, uh, I, I, well, Lent came on Wednesday, and so I deleted my Facebook and Twitter, but I picked the wrong week to do that, because it sounds like there's all kinds of stuff going on. I mean, that. I, th I think the halls of OHS were unbelievable, so I've been told. I can't wait. Tomorrow I get the day I can look, right? That's not part of the 40 days of land. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend a little time tomorrow checking all that out. W we could feel you clear down there in Omaha. I mean, I'm not kidding you. We could feel all of that. When we, uh, when we were down there, I, I don't know how many people, I mean, I had too many that I can't even begin to tell you how many people said, you guys have the most amazing fans, I mean, in all wrestling. It's unbelievable. I mean, the, the NSA director, Ron Higdon, stopped me twice just to tell me what kind of fans we had and, and something I knew, but uh, you got noticed statewide. We're, it was it was amazing. So a big hand for you guys. It was amazing. That was, uh, that was a 15 round fight is what we had this weekend. That was unbelievable. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody except us and you know, you guys and, and a handful of people even thought that we were in it, you know, from the beginning. And, uh, and then we were still in it after every round. I mean, even when our name wasn't sh showing up on the scoreboard, you know, we knew in our hearts that we were, I mean, that we had a shot. And uh, every one of these guys, that was down there contributed every single one of them i mean all all eight that we took and uh i just remember after that first day you know it, it was kind of a mixed bag in terms of results we got some nice wins i mean obviously in the first round and then the second round and then we had some setbacks obviously we were looking you know obviously you want to win them all but uh we had those setbacks and and then you're looking at the team scores and we're not on it i mean we're not on the list they list the five and, and we're not on that list and uh, we go back to the hotel. I learned over the last couple of years that that first day, I mean, you can definitely, you can't win a state tournament in the first day, but you can lose one. And I knew we hadn't. And uh, I came back to the hotel and, and the guys, we all kind of got together. And we're, we're still in this thing. And, and, uh, and, <laughs> and then the next morning you come out and then, you know, Eduardo, I know he's kind of, you know, he, he has his first match against a kid that ends up placing fourth and tough kid. And he goes out there and battles and battles and battles to a one nothing, you know, I mean, loss. And then, then you come back around and have, and have Caleb Ross, who I promise you there was only about four people that gave him a chance in that match, but he was one of them. And uh, he goes out there and knocks off the David City kid. And then you follow that up with Jason Hallbeck doing what he does. And, and these two guys right here, they don't have a, you know, an individual hanging around their neck, but. Uh, their team points, we don't we don't get it done, you know, without those guys right there. So good. I mean, I mean, and that's that's when it started. I mean, right there in that moment, you know, when, when Caleb won that match against Mush. And, and we go off to the side and, and every one of those, his teammates is over in his corner. I mean, that was the spark right there. That was, that was the spark that, that set off that run. We had that morning, Jason had to, what seemed like he had to win a match twice, I think, uh, you know, <laughs> that morning. But, uh, and he did. 
uh, and then we go back to the hotel after that round and, and everybody just kind of said, you know, we're in this, guys. I mean, what we did was gave ourselves a shot. And, uh, and then from there on out, it was just like one guy picking up the next guy, picking up the next guy, and we just kept rolling along. And even, you know, it felt like we'd done everything that we could and then, and then Valentine had come back and, and win two matches. They had one guy on the backside and we thought, he's not going to win anymore. And he goes and turns and places third. You know, we're like, geez, how many more of these can we do? And they just kept, they just kept coming. It was unbelievable, unbelievable. Scoring bonus points. I mean, golly, I, I know I'm reliving this whole state tournament. Right now, but, um, you guys probably watched it all, but it, I don't know. There, there's so many stories inside the bigger story. I can't, I can't even begin to tell you how proud I am of these guys. I mean, even when they're not feeling their best or doing their best, they're giving everything they got. I mean, bonus points galore. You know, those of you, and we got enough good wrestling fans around here. I mean, when you when you leg cradle a guy in the quarterfinals to get a pin, that's unbelievable stuff. So, Bailey Thompson, uh, whoa. I mean, a sophomore just took his team, put him on his back every time we needed it, you know, and needed a pickup. And there, there he was. I mean, fourth place in that. Yeah. Yeah. I want to, before I, I mean, Coach Childers, Coach Cole, and Coach Stearns, they, these guys are unbelievable. I mean, they, uh, they kind of have the pulse of this team. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know. I mean, each one of us has our guy and, and the person that we, you know, kind of connect with and, and whatever we all do. But it's just, a, it's such a team effort. And those guys pour their heart and soul into this. And I know their family sacrifice a lot, like anybody that's in coaching does. Um, so that we can do this kind of stuff. And so big time, big round of applause for this guy. Before I turn this over, and I will, I promise, I'm, I'm almost done. But uh, I just want to say a little bit about, you know, these seniors that I haven't necessarily got a, a chance to say something about. John Marvin, I mean, you talk about a guy that just kind of comes to work. I know he kind of had an individual dream of, you know, getting to the finals and winning a state title. And uh, obviously he had probably the worst draw in the history of draws. I mean, I think he had to beat everybody that was any good in that bracket in order to, to get it done. And, and uh, you know, so he has a tough draw against a kid from Sutton, gives it everything he's got, and then he comes back around and, and uh, I mean, places third. And he had a loaded bracket. That's not easy to do, you know. It's pretty easy. Tick top, right? Tick top. Get the fall. I talked about my leg cradler over there. What do you say about this guy? Only one time in four years has he ever wrestled on the Constellation side of a bracket. That just blows my mind. One time in four years. <laughs> Corey, I'm telling you what, that guy, I mean, he battled sickness, he's battled injury, he's battled about everything that you could battle. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and then, you know, I, I mean, he's, he, he's, not, he's not feeling his best down there or anything like it, but, but he, just like when I stood here at that pep rally and said that I promise you one thing, that they'll never give up. That they'll never give up, no matter what the situation, they won't give up. And there's 15 seconds left in that match, and we really haven't done anything, you know, remarkable to speak of in that match to, to even give ourselves a shot. And with 15 seconds left, and he's right in front of us, and, and there he is, and the kid's in on him, and, and he calls up his inner Joe Gillum. I mean, uh, <laughs> he did. We saw it coming. It was right there. It was like, you know, chin whip, neck wrench city. He saw it coming, and boom, he hit it. And boy, and right after John's pin, I mean, they both happened pretty much at the exact same moment. And, I mean, we went from here to here. And, and wow. Yep. Couldn't have done it without any of them, all of them. But nice job, buddy.
got one more quick story here. Dave, where? There he is. <laughs> you can score 30 points in the state tournament. Dave scored 29. This is gonna give me goosebumps when I say this, but I mean, our back's against the wall like 45 times if I haven't mentioned it this weekend. And uh, so we're standing down there, and it was right after, I mean, Coleman, who wasn't supposed to win another match and ends up placing third, you know, goes on his run and wins every, well, whatever. I mean, good kid, but anyway. So we're sitting there and we're thinking, geez, this guy's a dagger. I mean, every time we turn around, you know, and so we finished up the consolations and we're on the finals. They got four guys in the finals and we have two. And uh, we knew that they had a couple tough matches, but they also had a couple that were winnable for sure. And they were favored in them, you know, and, uh, but we knew what we had too. And so I'm standing there and Dave told me two weeks ago, he told me two weeks ago that he traded in a state title for one shot at a team title. He traded, he traded in in a heartbeat. And I'm standing on the floor and I'm kind of, you know, I'm thinking, God, you know, I'm just kind of beside myself, and, and Coach Childers and Coach Cole are still standing out there, and I start walking back to the, to the, you know, the car, whatever, the area underneath there. I come walking along, and I didn't even expect to see him, but there they are standing as close as they can get to the floor without being an on-deck wrestler. They're standing right there, both Blake and David are. And I walked up to Blake, and he looks at me. Looks at, or David was standing, he was the front one, and he looks at, he looks straight in my eyes, and he says, Tell, Coach Tulls, Tell us what we have to do. What do we got to do in this final match to get it done? <laughs> and I didn't know the math that moment, you know? I don't know the math on any moment, but <laughs> I just got goosebumps. I said, just wait right here. And I walked back to those two guys right there who are the math people. And uh, I said, you guys got to come right here. And so we go walking up there and, and, and it was that story. I said, what, what do we got to do? What do we got to do to win this thing? You know, do we got a pin? Do we got to get a major? If anybody's ever watched a state tournament and you're in that finals match, there isn't a lot of guys going for broke out there because they don't want to make a mistake. That's just not how you wrestle the finals match, but that's the way they wanted to wrestle that thing. And uh, it's a testament to them. I mean, I, I'll never forget that as long as I live, that, that moment right there, going for broke and telling me that they were ready to do it. And uh, I, I couldn't be more proud, both of those guys. this and thanks for letting me get long-winded and tell you the whole story of the state tournament. I appreciate it. I need that so I can sleep tonight. Does anybody, anybody want to say something? Dave, you always like to talk. No, he does. I'm not lying to you. He really does. on all season and if this is the end of my wrestling career I'm glad I spent it here at O'Neill. We have like the greatest fans ever as Coach said. So thank you guys for all the support and when we come down there and get a win and we hear you guys and you're the loudest in the building, it's amazing. You guys don't know how good it feels just to be an eagle today. So I'm glad we're the ones who got to bring home the, the team title this time because after getting second twice, you know, it's kind of a bummer. So. <laughs> I just want to thank all the coaches for coaching me these past four years and I can probably speak for all seniors that we just love this place and love how much you guys do for us out here and the team just appreciates us so much when we come in here we're in awe and fans you know so thank you guys so much Anybody else? I don't want to. It's your moment to shine. Be dumb. Look at this guy. Hey. Uh, yes, thanks again. Uh, it's just kind of cool. I mean, you know, going down underneath the quest and stuff, you don't really see too much of 
people or whatever, and you know, so you just cheer, so I guess you tell them if you don't know if there's wrestling or not. <laughs> and uh, just, just thanks for all the support, like I said. Uh, so how we have districts here, I think that was cool. I mean, it just grew us as a team, and then bringing it all down to the state tournament was awesome, so thanks again. Can't wait to see a little change up there. Yeah. one more thing about it isn't even for so much about these guys it was you know I mean I don't know I, I said it's been a hundred and some I don't know how long that we've been a school district around here but it's been for my time you know and, and there's not that state championship banner there hasn't been that state championship banner there it just wasn't here we're just a hand one of a handful of schools and it, I know what these guys put in through the years I mean that vision that dream that work that effort Right, it started a long time ago, and there and and, and, and it, it was a group of people, and they found other people, and you know, in the summertime when everybody wanted to go to the lake and do, and believe me, they go to the lake and they do all that kind of stuff too, but you know, they they prioritize those things, and they they said, you know, maybe this week I'm going to go to camp, or I'm going to get up early and I'm going to get to the weight room, and and you know, they they just that's what they did, and they did it consistently. And, and when I look out here, I mean, I, I saw the, I don't know if the, I don't see the, the Johnston boys. I saw them down there and I see John Gettard out here now. And I see, I see these kids today. I mean, I, I, I know those runners, they've run every single day. 
you know, when it's cold and, and miserable and everything else, and, and they're out there and they're putting this time in now. And so as awesome as it is to blow that door open, that's just what we did. That door is blown open. And, and I, I don't think the next one, we're gonna have to wait near as long to get it. I mean, this is, that's, that's, that's what I see happening. And that's what it's going to be in Eagle. I'm to put in Just proud, proud to be in Eagle today. Proud of all of you. Thank you guys for supporting us. Thanks for coming out at midnight tonight to welcome us home and for the fireworks and the, you know, and the, and the, and the fire trucks and the parade and the horns and whatever. Great, great administration, Mr. Hoster, thank you for, seriously, I mean, he doesn't, he's kind of an unsung hero in this deal a little bit. Yeah, he, he takes care of a lot of stuff and he's a good guy all around. He really is. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Go Eagles, right? <laughs>